The most famous paintings in the world, the Mona Lisa, the Last Supper, the girl with the pearl earring. But do you know the most famous painting in Zambia? Of course you don't, because there is no most famous painting in Zambia. And I do love art, I love it, but now I'm ashamed because I don't know any Zambian artists know their work or their stories, but I do know Picasso. Movies, songs and documentaries have been made about him. I do know that he had a rose period, his blue period, neoclassicism, surrealism, cubism, his works like Guernica, the weeping woman and the old guitarist. I know all this even though I don't really like his paintings, but I do appreciate everything he has done for the art and I do understand people that do love his art. But I think it's now my duty to document the great Zambian artists that are good and I do find inspiration from their work. So I took my shame for at the gallery office park in Lusaka at the Literary Trust Art Collection. As a person who has an interest in art, the first time you would look at a Basquiat painting you would say to yourself like, what is this? But the more people talk about it, the more you wonder what they see in it that you can't. This painting that you're seeing was sold for 110 million US dollars at auction. This Mark Rothko was sold for 77 million. The number 19 by Jackson Pollock was sold for 52 million. Don't get it twisted, I do not hate Western art. Come on, come on. This is just beautiful. But sometimes it gets too pretentious. Like, come on, come on. Really? Maybe it's because I've never seen these paintings in person, but, hmm, guys, under and tell me that. Okay, okay. My point is, they understand and appreciate their art to a point that they're willing to pay millions of dollars to have these pieces and preserve them. I'm not saying that Zambian artists should charge us millions of kwacha to have these paintings. All I'm saying is, Zambians that do love art should appreciate our artists that depict our culture through their works. And it's all public perception. The Mona Lisa is not the most beautiful painting in the world, but society and history tells us that it is. The stories, the theft, the enchantment. People write letters to her. Not her, her. I mean the painting. Damn. See? People believe that it's real, that the painting is alive. 80% of the visitors who visit the Louvre go to see her. Not her, her the, the painting. Damn. And that's the power of art. Things come to life through the brush on the canvas. This was day at the museum, I travel the world. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if, wait a minute. I've seen this picture before. Give me a minute. <sighs> okay, I'm back. I just found out that this is Henry Tally. So guess what? I'm going to the Henry Tally art gallery to find out more about who this man really is. Henry Tally is described as Zambia's most famous painter. The man who frontiered Zambia's art. Tayali is one of the first Africans to work tirelessly to raise the profile of indigenous African arts and crafts in Zambia, Africa and worldwide. Born in Serenje in 1943, Northern Rhodesia, his family moved to the Southern Rhodesia where he studied painting in his secondary school. He was so talented that his first exhibition was at the age of 15 in Bulawayo. He studied in Uganda at the Makerere University where he graduated with a bachelor's degree in arts and a master's of arts at the Dusseldorf University in Germany. Henry Tally held exhibitions in Blawayo, Aachen, Dusseldorf, London, Alberta, Toronto, as well as Lusaka, Zambia, where few of his exhibitions were opened by our first Republican president, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda. 
His works still continue to be exhibited in Zambia and across the world. His influence carries on at the National Gallery of Zimbabwe. And his works are held in private collections around the globe. And his most notable pieces include Destiny, The Village, Sunset, The Beggar, Mother Africa, The Village Scene at Night, People in the Summer, The Brothers, and sculptures like The Graduate at Unza, The Bull, The Head Boy, The Bird at the Kapirimposhi Tazara train station. He was one of the founding members of Zambia National Visual Arts Council. Henry Tali died on the 22nd of July 1987 at the age of 43 in Germany. He was a lecturer at the University of Zambia and Evelyn Horn College. He was a painter, a printmaker, and a sculptor. And in 1995, the Henry Tali Gallery was opened by our then Vice President General Godfrey Miranda with the help of the Norwegian government. Catch me next time on the day at the museum as we learn more about Zambian art and get to know Zambian artists. This is goodbye from my travel world.